Hello Scorpio, today I'm going to be doing a general reading for you guys as you guys are my favourite because I'm Scorpio too so here we go. <laughs> so if you'd like a private reading first off I'm doing an Easter sale, my 25 minute readings are half price, they are £16 until the 22nd of April. Um, so for this reading I'm going to be doing general love and career and we're just going to get right into it also comment down below if this resonates with you because this is the first time i'm doing sign specific reading so let's see what you guys have what does Scor should scorpio expect in the next couple of weeks so we have creative expression oh my god they're all flying out oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay What can Scorpio expect in the next couple of weeks? Sexuality. I've got the word, of course, because Scorpio is the most sexual sign. I can say that because I'm a Scorpio, right? I have the right to, but they are the most sexual sign anyway. So body movement, right? You guys, I feel like you need to move your body more. You need to kind of get out and move your body. I feel like you guys are working on your sexuality as well. I feel like some of you might be in transition um, of maybe being transgender or things like that. Um, if not, I feel like a lot of you could be channeling your inner confidence and being really sexy. I feel like this is the, the next couple of weeks is going to be a time when you're really sexy. You kind of got this golden aura around you. So a lot of people are really attracted to you. You could also find somebody very attractive and find someone very sexy. And this could be somebody who you're very sexually attracted to. And they could find you very sexually attractive. This could also this is a really good time to also have flings because it's it's kind of like a time where it's um, a lot of expression and I feel like creative expression and sexuality are very well linked together. I feel like creative expression is going to be really important for you in the next couple of weeks to make sure you are um, getting that, um, I want to say getting that sexual side out because the sexual side is to do a lot with your creative expression. So I feel like being creative is also um, channeling that sexual side of you as well which is really really good. Make sure to get out there, make sure to move your body because that's going to be really, really important. Dance, listen to music, exercise, kind of get out there and kind of like, you know, boogie boogie. <laughs> Don't know why I said that, but I'm getting like a really like fun, happy, like really like, wow. Like my eyes are really opened with this energy. So it's like, oh my God, everything is kind of like opening up for you guys. We also have the magician, which is exactly the thing that I just said is opening up. A lot of things are manifesting you guys, a little a little manifestors. You are really like manifesting the things that you really want. We also have the six of wands. You're going towards something that's really gonna suit you as well. And you're slowly moving towards something that's like, I can see like really good slow, smooth movement. So it's like, you're honoring how you feel. You're really kind of getting into your self-confidence. This is really good, I love this. We also have the four of swords. Okay, what is this about? So you could have some conflict with somebody as well. I feel like somebody, you could be leaving somebody out in the cold. You could have, I feel like I'm getting like a boss energy. So someone could be bossing you around or you could be bossing somebody around. I'm not sure what that's about. What's the four of ones about? Okay, right. So this could actually be you standing your ground um, and reaping the rewards. Because I feel like, oh, right. This is like triumph. I'm feeling like this is going towards triumph. So a lot of you are reaping the rewards of your triumphant achievements is what I'm getting. It's like, I've really worked on myself. I really need the, I really am gaining the rewards now. And it's like, you are really gaining the rewards. And it's almost like, make sure you're not leaving people out in the cold when you go towards this new opportunity though. It's make sure you're not forgetting about people. And I'm getting this in relationships as well. I feel like if you go into a new relationship, make sure you're not, I don't know why this, no, this is not to do with a relationship. This is to do with like, friendships or somebody or something i'm not too sure what this is about but that's kind of what i got is what is what i just said and we also have the four of pentacles in reverse so when this is not in reverse it's like holding things to your chest and holding things tightly it's like i feel like you guys are actually letting go of things now and you're kind of you're feeling more safe within yourself can we get what's the overall energy for scorpio for the next two weeks please have justice so justice has been coming up a lot for me because i'm a scorpio this justice card i definitely feel like there's a massive trend with a justice card there's 
as I say, it's like the triumph. You're reaping the rewards of your triumph. And justice is like, yeah, I've earned it. This is where I'm going. I'm going, I'm being like a boss ass bitch. I'm earning, um, like getting everything that I expect and I deserve. And it's like, yeah, I bloody, I bloody deserve all this. Sorry for the cussing, but I bloody deserve all this. All this stuff is coming towards me and I bloody deserve it. It's like you're putting your sword down. It's like, yeah, I deserve this. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> okay, so there's some really fun energy going on here. Um, so I feel like it could be, as I say, a little bit of conflict going on, but um, make sure you are... Um, Scorpios are very empathetic, but I feel like you're not being very empathetic to this person. Maybe you're leaving somebody out in the cold, which is good. I feel like this is a good thing, though. I feel like a lot of you're leaving a lot of your past behind. You're leaving a lot of past people behind, and this is really nice. I feel like you're kind of doing this. You're clearing out stuff, which is really good. As I say, there could be a little bit of conflict going on. I'm not sure what that is, but it's very like kind of like like this, very quick. So it could also be quick movement, and it could also be quick talking. So it could be a little bit of bitchiness, but I'm not. I don't think it's anything really to worry about. So let's see what Scorpios have in love. What can Scorpios expect in the next couple of weeks for love, please? We have give your relationship a chance. These cards are flying out. I definitely am really channeling Scorpio energy right now. It's like properly like proper intense proper like yeah let's go bitch let's go and it's like if i could explain it in a person it's kind of like cardi b where she's really like sassy and really like confident it's that sort of energy i feel like you guys have you also have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully what else can scorpios expect for the next couple of weeks in love please you also have forgive and learning Okay, can we have one more please? Getting to know each other. So I feel like you guys could be releasing an ex um, because forgiving and learning is like forgiving the past. You also, have, uh, you also have as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel like this could be to do with past relationships, past um, wounds. This is definitely, I feel like the um, swords moment. The sword card that we had It's like letting go of the past and letting go of what no longer serves you. What can Scorpios expect in the next couple of weeks for love, please? We've got Magician and Justice again. Oh my god, these cards are really flying out. I feel like someone could be giving you news as well because it's like the cards are really flying and they're kind of smoothly flying. I know that sounds really random, but... I feel like this could actually be like to do with somebody kind of coming towards you. So we have Justice, we have Magician, Justice, King of Pentacles, Death. I've, that, death has come up so many times for the for a lot of signs. So you guys are coming up in your own reading, which is amazing. Not going to lie, I love the Death card. So if you love the Death card as well, then let me know because us Scorpios do love the death card um, because death is our card so there's definitely a lot of transformation going on someone is going to offer you some sort of offer and it's like you got to go through a bit of a time before you get to this person but I feel like it's it's like it's not going to take a lot of time but I feel like you're going through different stages of like your right okay so you're peeling off different stages of your past which is really interesting i'm getting like different segments of your life i'm getting like childhood teenagehood um adulthood and then you've got like the mid the mid age so like 50 to 60 that sort of thing i'm getting like the segments of your life and i feel like you're analyzing each section of your life and kind of conquering all of the old negative um old negative experiences that you've had and you're letting those go and this is where the death card is coming in it's like really kind of stripping away like really stripping away all of the crap and all of the past as i said yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are kind of stripping away a lot of the old negative crap and it's like a lot of good things are really coming in because it's like you're getting justice for everything that you've gone through and when we've got to give your relationship a chance and getting to know each other i feel like a lot of you could be in disconnect with somebody you could not be talking with somebody you could not be talking with your partner you could not be talking with just a person that you're interested in 
but you will start getting to know each other again because once you've you're almost like stripping away all this stuff while you're not talking to this person the death card comes in and then the new person comes in so it's like i'm going you're going through like it's all of this on your own even if you're with somebody i feel like you're kind of going through this on your own and you're having like an internal kind of detox and then like a massive like death death kind of like in the underworld detox and then you're going to come up and out and you're going to get to know each other again almost like a new refreshed start because you're going to be forgiving and learning from the past so let's just see what else i'm going to get a couple more what's the overall outcome for the next couple of weeks for scorpio in love please we have deception Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. So I feel like this could be to do with the fact that you aren't really talking right now is what I'm getting. I don't feel like a lot of you are together. If you are, I feel like it could be a little bit of a separation in the relationship. But it's all going to be fine. This is just temporary while you're going through some stuff. They could also be going through some stuff as well. A lot of people are going through stuff at the moment. They've also got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So as I say, this could be just some sort of journey that you're on at the moment. It could just be that you're in between at the moment. You're just in a little bit of an in-between stage and that's totally fine. This is all good. And we got the Ten of Swords. So as I say, there's a lot of crap going on, but it's also really, really good because you've got the Death and you've got the Ten of Swords. So there's like an end to something and it's all just going to be amazing because you're going to be having an offer from the Page of Pentacles and it's all just going to be really, really nice. And we've also got the Queen of Cups and this is going to be you and them. This is like the person offering you um, a cup and we've also got the... Why do we need to pull these out? I don't need to pull these out. I've also got celebration. So that is what you guys got in love. It's all going to be really nice. Just keep going, guys. I know it's really hard at the moment. This energy is really like, affecting me as well. It's quite intense. So let's see what you guys got going on in your career section. What can Scorpios expect in their financial career in the next two weeks, please? we got kick up your heels. Be honest with yourself. And family harmony. Can we have one more, please? Wow, that flipped out really strongly. So we've got Miracle Healing. Kick up your heels, be honest with yourself, Family Harmony and Miracle Healing. So there is a lot of healing going on to do with you and your past and your family relationships. So this is going to be affecting your financial because it's actually your financial situation because you're actually going to be deciding what you really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Don't know why that came out. That's so funny. Um, so it's like you're kind of deciding what you really, really want in finances and it's almost like the universe is kind of giving you a nudge to do something you really really want to do and this is kind of you in the queen of wands energy it's like kind of deciding that this is going to really suit me and if it doesn't then it's like i've got to be honest with myself do i really want to do this for the next 10 to 20 years or do i want to go into something that's much more suitable for me so i feel like you guys need a bit of fun as well a lot of you guys have been working really hard and you're really kind of looking outside of yourself a lot for things as in like this isn't a bad thing though i'm not saying i'm seeing like a little bit of addictions but i'm also seeing like you're separating yourself from yourself so you're kind of like looking over at yourself thinking what do i need to improve kind of like if i was in somebody else's shoes looking at me how would i feel if i was in this situation so it's like, i feel like with scorpios is they do have a have a way of kind of separating themselves from themselves and they can kind of be in other people's shoes because they are very empathetic and they're very it can tune into other people's emotions very easily. So I definitely feel like you guys are kind of looking at yourself from a different perspective and you're kind of thinking, how am I going to get to this Queen of Wands? What is going to make me kind of do really well in my career? And for others of you, if you're already doing really well in your career, it's, it's amazing because you're being honest with yourself and there's miracle healing here. It's like you're being kind of guided to an amazing kind of opportunity for yourself and... Yeah, it's going to be fun and I don't feel like there's anything bad here. I feel like it's just a little bit of emotional stress, but that's kind of normal in this kind of energy at the moment. It's very, very heavy. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if it's resonated. I'd love to know. Please subscribe to my channel. And um, as I said, I'm also doing a April sale at the moment till the 22nd of April. So if you'd like to book a private reading with me, then please do that. And I will see you very soon. Bye.